Dear Steve, I'm a single mother having problems with my twin boys. They're 15 years old. When they were younger, they had dreams of being a football player and a lawyer, and now all they see is a street life. I've worked four different jobs to make sure that my boys had everything that they wanted. I later found out that my kids were being harassed where they played and gangs tried to recruit them. Now it has progressed to the point where I've come home to my apartment to find grown men smoking weed and drinking with my kids in the apartment. Just when I think things couldn't get any worse, I found out that my boys were arrested for possession and distribution of crack cocaine. Steve, I'm terrified that they will end up dead portraying this lifestyle that they think is cool. Wouldn't you want to stop yourselves and say, I want better for me, I want better for my mother, I want to, I want to achieve something in my life? You, you said on the tape that you were offered a scholarship, right? You're a pretty good athlete, right? Why, you got this God-given talent that a lot of people don't get, why flush it down the toilet? Please welcome defensive end, Fayron Wright, and running back, Isaiah Greer. Hey, how's doing, man? Listen, guys. You guys are standing up here acting all tough, acting all big. Let me tell you something. That lady back there loves you to death. You understand what I'm saying to you? I, too, was in your shoes, and I put my mother through hell. You see the scar on my neck? I got stabbed in my neck my freshman year in college, 76 stitches. Wow. Doctor said if I, didn't, if I didn't have the size of neck that I had because I worked out so much and did what I did, I would have died instantly. You guys are playing around with your one, the, one thing you own, the only one thing you have in life, and that's your life. You're playing around with the one thing that cannot be defeated. Yeah. It's not too late. And that's what you need to understand. You're 15 years old. You got your entire life ahead of you, man. Get your, you, you guys need to get your act together. When you go back to Baltimore, this is not it. Because one thing about me, when I talk to people, when I help people, I never stop by with the one conversation. Life is a journey, and I'm going to take this journey with you, boys. You understand what I'm telling you? We know what it's like in these streets. I wear everything visible on me. You understand? These stars, they don't come from football. I wear a helmet. I've been there. But you know what? I'm fortunate enough to have survived every tough situation, every adverse situation I've been in. You guys might not be that lucky. That's why I'm standing here, because you know what? I'm so fortunate and I'm so grateful to God to have another day. And that's why I devote my life to helping guys like this. Guy. I come from a single parent home. I didn't let that stop me, you know? It's all about what you want in life. Take that scholarship, man. Take that scholarship. You have a great support system, a mom who loves you, an uncle who loves you, and will do anything for you too. It's not just a one-time thing. You know, we're going to follow up with you guys, make sure you're doing what you have to do. These jerseys for you. Absolutely, absolutely. I just want to say something about these jerseys. Yeah, they look, they look a little worn. These are our game jerseys. All these scratches and scars and marks you see on us, we earned these the hard way. I was an MVP for my team last year in this jersey. Isaiah was the leading rusher in the league last year in that jersey. When you put this on, I hope you somehow transform into seeing and wanting and just, just envision where you want to be and just achieve that goal. Please do that. This is for you. Baby.